Nope. nope. <laughs> like, I'm taking it all. <laughs> taking all of it, yeah. In fact, we were just planning our next vacation. You just got Where back. Going? Yeah. We're going similar areas right. like you went. You went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Kauai, we're going to Maui. So there's something in the it. water here that's yeah. like going through and sending everyone in our newsroom to Hawaii, Hawaii at some point in the next yeah. year. I think there's four <laughs> upstairs that we've counted who are planning <laughs> trips. And uh, planning. Uh, yeah. one of our other uh, uh, guys down in the uh, sales sets. department was just there as just well. There? Okay. Same yeah. time yeah, as yeah, I was, different motions. islands. So. It's yeah, all about, I think it's department. all about winter, you're done with the cold, mm -hmm. you just want to think about something warmer and you got to go to Hawaii. I think that's probably yeah. the case for it's anyone and everyone <laughs> in the Midwest, the Northeast, oh, this man. time of uh, Maybe people are here. planning last minute trips, like I'm just yeah. leaving today, just if done. planes are mm -hmm. even flying out there, right? Yeah. So ice build up and things. Um, yeah, so weather's been pretty uh, uh, quiet around here, but we talked about a lot of the frigid cold temperatures. Mm -hmm. Uh, up in the northeast or uh, we know that the winter carnival is going on all week long up in McCall so we want to see your photos uh, you know this is actually one of the sculptures from last year but uh, boy it sure was a, a neat one uh, uh, highlighting yeah some of the unique sculptures that you can find up there so send us your photos idahonews.com slash chime in we'd love to highlight some of those here in some of our newscasts or on our website um, <clears throat> the adventure cast for the carnival if you're going to be heading out it's in the mountains, you know it's going to be cold, but yeah, we're not getting above freezing today when you look at the uh, breakdown for the hourly temperature. So 11 degrees at 9 o'clock, 24 at noon, and we'll see 31 degrees this afternoon, but that's going to be the high, so just below freezing out there. All right, looking outside right now, the airport is quiet. Yeah, we've got uh, clear skies, so no fog this morning like we had yesterday. We had a weak front that moved through yesterday. It's helped lower our dew point temperatures a little bit, so uh, we're not seeing any of that saturation here near the surface or the low-level cloud cover. So 20 22 in Caldwell, 23 in Ontario, 8 in Stanley. McCall 15 degrees this morning, 21 in Twin Falls. Moving forward, the ridge of high pressure that's currently in place is going to remain there uh, at least through Thursday. We're going to start to see some changes on Friday as the low pressure system begins to work its way in from the Pacific and it will prov provide some showers over the weekend. So that next weather maker will break it down for you here. So with a ridge of high pressure in place, again, trough over the uh, upper Midwest and the Great Lakes region. So we typically have a trough uh, on the uh, forward side or of the uh, ridge of high pressure that's in place as well. And as that high pressure starts to break down as we head into Friday, we will continue to see uh, a broad area of low pressure as we head into the weekend, which should generate some shower activity uh, for our area throughout the weekend. In fact, fairly widespread, if not heavy shower activity could be seen on Sunday and then carry some into Monday next week. So here's a look at that extended forecast. Low to mid 40s expected through Thursday. Upper 40s near 50 on Friday with increasing clouds. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually topped out at 50 degrees. 49 on Saturday for Groundhog Day. A chance of some rain showers. Rain likely on Sunday. And then we do have a chance of some moisture lingering into Monday. So a rain snow chance on Monday next week. 42 uh, is expected to be the high. Again, we're still far enough out, five to seven days. Things could change on timing as well as uh, whether or not we'll get enough cold air to actually see some snow. So uh, mountain forecast, sunshine out there uh, today, tomorrow and Thursday. Increasing clouds on Friday for Groundhog Day. We're expecting temperatures to maybe be warm enough. It might actually be a rain snow mix, if not rain showers over to snow on Sunday with more snow into Monday next week. Groundhog, I hope he pulls through with a <laughs> uh, no shadow with the clouds, mm -hmm. which means, well, in theory, there would right. be just three weeks left right. of, of winter and be closer to spring. Otherwise, if there's sunshine, which there should be, mm -hmm. six more. All right, ski areas probably want him to not see that That's shadow. Right. Uh, I'm going to miss not having because he's on the weekend. Uh, Punk Sonny Phil comes out on a Saturday this year. We used to have so much fun with him on the morning show. Oh, yeah. Getting to play with Shoot. him, watching his shadow. So we'll have to yeah. update you on Monday, it's even a big though deal. you already know. <laughs> All right.